If you look at the SEC preview view of this financial information, you can see that there are pieces that are not um, shown. Or actually, you can't see them because they're not shown. So for example, we go over to the rendering view. You can see that here, the legal entity axis is explicitly shown. The SEC preview has a tendency of just ignoring that um, axis. Um, but it's, it's better to be clear and had every piece of information shown. So th that's what you see with this evidence package. Um, in addition, like I showed before, not only can you see all the information, and here it's in a very readable term, you don't see any uh, element names or IDs. If you do want to see the element name or ID, you click on this concept. So there's the name. There's the ID. The information's there, but it's not really that useful to you. What's useful is the base taxonomy standard label name, other inventory supplies gross, uh, and the report standard label. Okay, so here are all the labels. Uh, the filer standard label, the base taxonomy label, the filer terse label, other, which is what you show, which is what is shown in the report here. Um, and you even see the changes to the documentation. So this says that the, I think, yeah, modify the documentation. So the documentation is shown up here. It's a, it's a label syntactically, but semantically, it's documentation. So it's, it's very relevant, so that's why it's up here next to the uh, base taxonomy label. Plus, as you can see, you have the references, you can click on this and go to the actual um, DASB references. And likewise, for every one of these facts, if you click on it, you see every characteristic of the fact. Um, the reporting entity, the CIK number, um, the period, the legal entity axis, here this is a consolidated entity, uh, the concept, the fact value, um, the units, decimals, with no footnotes, um, pretty much everything. And that is for every single component in the financial report. It's modeled this exact same way.